that the speaker chose to end session because he felt the public pressure and what he's hoping is that you don't come back in January. What he does not realize is he's giving us more time to organize even more people to hold him accountable and to push against this extremist session that we saw. This was not a session about public safety. Right. This was a session about silencing dissent, about criminalizing children, and abuse of power. Mm. And so we, we are appreciative of all people who came. You deserve an apology, particularly yes. the Covenant families deserve an apology from yes. this house. Because what happened there was a sham. And rather than face you, the speaker ran back to his office and locked the door. But no matter if he goes to hide in his office or comes out here to see the people, we know that his time is up. Yes. We know that his time as speaker is up. Mm -hmm. And that he was so afraid of a vote of no confidence that he wouldn't even let any other business be heard. But we don't need a vote from them because the people can take a no That's confidence right. vote in the speaker. Raise, raise your hand if you want to vote no confidence in Speaker Cameron Sexton. I believe it passes overwhelmingly. Yeah. Thank you all for being here. Power to you all. We'll keep showing up. This is your house. This does not look like the people's house right now, but we're going to make this the people's house. Cameron Sexton's on the wrong side of history, and we know that we're on the right yeah. side of history. Power to the people. Power to the people. Whose house? Whose house? This is still our house. It's operating, and inside, I was pushed by Cameron Sexton and by other folks on his team. And then he started to yell and scream as though we had done something. Representative Jones was pushed by uh, Representative Sapicki as well because we were holding signs and demanding that we protect kids and not guns. This is where we are. The authoritarian actions that we saw with banning of signs is also living in the actions of the people who have power in this state. And they are doing policy violence, but they're also doing physical violence. Yes. They are hurting our communities. William Lambert, he started to scream. He wouldn't let me walk past him either. There is something going on in this institution that is allowing this bad behavior to persist. White racism! It is racism and white supremacy. Yes. It's the same ideologies and the same actions that killed three folks in Jacksonville, the hate that is fueled in the state of Tennessee and by people in positions of power permeates across our country. Yes. The only way that we can change it is, as Representative Joe says, Sexton needs to resign. We've already had a vote of no confidence. He needs to go. And also these other leaders that allow for this behavior to happen yes. and persist, they got to go. Gotta go. These folks who support white supremacy and right. patriarchy to the detriment of all of our health and all of our children, yes. they have to go. They, they lied throughout session, yeah. talking about how much they care about grieving families. They lied, talking about how much they really want to do something about gun violence, but Look we saw out. nothing in out. here but recommendations. We saw nothing in here to deal with really protecting children. And then when we decide to go and speak up and say something, we get pushed. Again, physically, not just our seats pushed to the back of the chamber, but physically pushed by the Speaker of the House, and by a chairman of the caucus, and the leader of the Republican caucus. This is how we lose our democracy. This is right. democracy crumbling. And it is going to take the people who still believe in democracy yes. and the ideal of it, who keep showing up with yes. eyes wide open, who keep showing up standing with covenant families, who keep showing up as moms, who keep showing up that's going to help us to rebuild this broken democracy and rebuild this broken house that is being broken by racist Sexton and William Lambert and the people in positions of power. Because this always and forever will be whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house. Whose house? against Cameron Sexton. Yes. We're going to continue to do work over the next four months as we come back for general session, but we need y'all to continue to show up with us and continue to elevate your voices and also demand that they listen to you. Thank you for showing up, though, because it takes time and it takes energy and it takes effort and it is a sacrifice. And, and all of us representatives, we recognize that it is a sacrifice, and so thank you for doing it. And it's good to be in this movement with you all. God bless you. Amen.